Welcome to Explore YouTube channel. Today we'll be going to learn about how to make a user form in Excel sheet through developer tab. Because sometimes you have to manage the big data or so many entries in a single day and you have to go to single column rows. But each time it can be a mistake available as well. So just to get erroneously avoiding this kind of errors, you have to use one single form. That is called user form being used in the spreadsheet. So here you can view a data entry single user form where we have to mention the employee ID, employee name, then gender to be selected depending on the options and designation, which that designation that person has been allotted and the salary being paid to that person, and then clicking on submit to enter the data. So let's start with the simulation. I just give this person a simple id of seven number and this person name is andy and she is a female she is the manager and she is getting salary of fifty thousand and i just click on submit and i'll be seeing a new pop-up come up new record has been added so that's how we can add add so many entries in a single user with a single user form and it would be very beneficial and effective for your work efficiency as well because it will be helping you to understand this scenario how to be big errorless and adding the right entry at right time to right source so how to make a single user form first we have to go to develop tab if you don't have this develop tab then you have to go to files over there you have to go to options here you have to go to customize re1 and click on here in main tabs you will find the develop tab and then just add it you will be able to add the develop tab directly so for the time being it's already being added here so let's start without wasting any much time here is the user form if you are new to making a new user form you just have to go to insert then insert a user form and the second step is you have to click here you see the toolbox right now that if I click over here then this pop-up will come up and here we can use the label that we can name employee ID and where we have to fill the data that is called a text box and if the data is being in the list we have to select from a multiple list then you can add the combo box and if you have to add the data you need a button so this is the button so that is a simple way you can add your label, your text box, your comma box, your button, or frame, whatsoever. This is the option like we have seen over there for male, female. All right. For the time being, I just show you my form straight away, which I have made here. I just gave a color to male, a sky blue and female, the pink one, and you can change the name like you have seen over there. It's option one, but over here I have written me. So you click here on mail and you will find these properties. You will see here in the caption I have written mail. So you can write anything whatever you want. And this is text box one. You can see in the properties as well. This is text box two. This is option button two. This is option button one. This is comma box one. Like I mentioned you to enter the designations so we will see how we can proceed with the coding as well so you will be able to view it very simplified way, in a very simplified way this is text box 3 and this is command button 1 this is command button 2 so friends let's start first we have to add the designation because i have multiple designation in my form so we will start with here private sub user form underscore activate bracket open bracket closed then start with the coding with me dot combo box one because that is the combo box which i showed you here this is the combo box here i want to show my designation which are which are being available in my form so there dot add item double comma then dot item dot add item agent rank then the system manager, deputy manager, manager. So all those these will be displayed in the com box. You can see here straight away. So it's quite easy. You can mention the full name as well. I just mentioned the short name. And 
so let's start with the coding if i fill numeric here the employee id it should be numeric this should be the word employee name then i can click on the option then designation then salary so let's go with the coding straight away i can double click on the submit button you will find here i have made the coding that if numeric is not being filled then it should show the message please enter a correct employee id because i have made a condition here it should be in numeric not in a word form so the coding is here we start with if we start and with and if it's a condition which is being used in the if condition so the second is where we have to mention the employee name it should be in the word form so over there we have also added this coding me dot dot text box two dot value equal to double comma double comma then message box if it's been not filled with the word then please enter employee name or if it's been left blank as well so the third one is for like you see here these options this is male option this is female option we have to fill this one as well so here the condition is for option button one which is for female should be false and for option button two it should be false then it means if it's not being filled then please select a gender otherwise you click on the option whichever is depending on the name the gender you can use it straight away so this condition is also being used here if you did not select the gender then you have to most select it and the further one is combo box where we have mentioned the ranks being available in the form so it has also displaying here please select the designation otherwise you will not be able to proceed further so the coding is me dot dot combo box dot one value equal to double comma double comma then message message box please select the designation double comma comma and after the noted comma is a comma then we be critical it means we have to select the designation otherwise we will not be able to proceed further so in the com box 3 we have to mention the a salary it should be in a numeric way otherwise we can proceed with the word form now this is the, these are the condition which depends on the numeric word or option selection or not this selection but how we can add data in the excel sheet that we go as a spreadsheet worksheet whatsoever so here before that like uh, this is employee id employee id should be in a number if i fill one again and i try to submit it says please enter employee name because i have not filled the employee name here i just left it i fill this and i this already says the employee id is already available in the database means the number one which is the employee id is already being registered in the added in the spreadsheet so we can't add it anymore we have to use another employee id so that for how conditions going to help you to avoid any kind of errors you see now the added data is being added because it's a new id so let's come back here that how we can add the data in the so special and before that i will just let you know about the coding for the duplicate entity to be being avoided so i just use for the employee id which is text box one and you can see here that if application dot function function dot count if bracket started sheet dot range f it's in the f column here the employee id is being displayed in the f column then it should be greater, greater than zero otherwise the employee id is already available in database means if i feel the employee id is one one i cannot refill it in another entry for another person because that old one one is already being used so that other person should have another id so that would be able to be filled so here now we have to a password to be unprotected i'll show you what what is the meaning of this protected or non-protect password for the time being just understand it 
it's s sheet dot unprotect inverted comma one two three inverted comma so here is the simple coding for which you will be able to enter your data from user form to access spreadsheet what you have to use sheet dot range bracket static inverted comma f inverted comma close and n plus one doc value what is the meaning of n plus one here f is a column where we will be going to represent all the ids n plus one means in the first row we have mentioned all the headings and we will be able to add the data through second row only so we'll start our data from second row that is n plus one and here further it's saying me dot text box one whatever i fill in the text box one it will go straight into the f column and for name it will go into the g column and for option button one and two which is for male and female we will be able to add it in the h column here the gender will be represent in the h column after the name so here we have used the same similar condition for it if me dot option dot value one dot value equal to two then she dot range if i selected the value i ticked on male or female then it should be displayed in h column and n plus one in the next row after the heading and so then we will have to use the combo box where we can use the designation use or select the designation of the person and it is being represented represented in the column box one and it will be displayed in i column and then for the salary which is being represented in the text box three through and will be displayed in column j now we can also again put a protection to the passwords and then come back to clear clear the data once i fill this data and i submit it clear clear all those text boxes comma box male female option to enter another next data in the sheet so let me get back to you here that if once the data is being added it must show the message that the record has been added so that's how we will be able to use the submit button and this command button to represents clear of data that, that those text boxes option box and comma box and text box should get empty once the data is being filled and added in the sheet depending on the scenario now friends let me show you one more interesting thing here if i go to text box 2 and i click here you see another coding here text box 2 equal to application dot worksheet function dot proper this proper means the first alphabet of the name should be capital if there is a middle name after space that should also comes obviously capital let me show you a demo here New employee ID is 121521 and his name is Kane Williamson. I click on W and W becomes capital straightway. So that is a benefit of that proper formula being used in the text box straightway. And if he this person has another last name as well, Williamson, like say let so you see the l becomes capital straight away because i use the proper function over there in the text box too and i click on here and edit the person salary it's made a entry here so further friend one more interesting thing now you might be wondering about that i wanted my data to be displayed in border one format is 
okay before that well, let me show you the formula being used over there you have to go to review you see that re formula represents go to a protect sheet one to three was the formula being used i click here only now i can be able to do edit here otherwise i was not able to do edit that's why the formula was used over there to protect the sheet so nobody can do any kind of editing here without your permission because only you know the password so once i unprotect the sheet now what i have to do i have to select this and then i have to go to border and do a border so it's a time consuming again but what i have I'm going to tell you means if i select this whole data or i select only the first row where the data was displayed in f2 to j2 then go to conditional formatting go to new rule go to use a formula here equal to click here on f2 and remove this dollar sign to let it float greater than zero if my f2 is greater than zero then it should be border straight away automatically okay now what happens my data is automatically border but what i have to add new entry will it get the border straight away automatically for that again go back to your condition formatting after selecting the row like i have selected here go to manage rule and here you can see and you can see here f2 column j2 so we want my data to be border up to f2 to j1000 and i click on apply you see now if i have to add new entry here this is a person id this is a person name Nina. she is a female and she is a agent she's getting commission based salary and she, you see then after i edit the name i get the border straight away so that's a very very effective thing which we will be able to use to now you see to enhance the work but over here you see if again i have to do an editing here nobody will be able to allow me in all the tabs to do editing because i want this one to be aligned so if you to make it aligned i have to go back to review i have to unprotect the password with she password sheet and now i'll be able to make an alignment here so that's how you will be able to use the user form to enhance your work productivity and efficiency because it will help you enter the right data entry in right manner with right source and in a very less time you will be able to make additions i hope you like the video friends please like and share explore so i'll be able